bet a lot of you didn't know that Road to Perdition was based on a comic book. I mean, after all, it's not really a comic book style of movie. It's not about superheroes, and it isn't a fantasy or science fiction setting, but rather a gangster drama taking place in the Prohibition era, mostly in Chicago. What's crazy is that the movie is based on a comic, which itself is also based on another comic, and the concept itself is somewhat also being based on a poem. The original comic was a Japanese manga called Lone Wolf and Cub, which came out in the 70s and also had six films, four plays, and a TV show based off of it. The basic story was adapted from Samurais to American Gangsters for the American comic Road to Perdition, which was published by DC's Paradox imprint. After the film version, the author novelized it and also wrote two sequels, also in novel form called Road to Purgatory and Road to Paradise. With perdition being another word for hell, the hell-purgatory-paradise sequence seems inspired by the epic poem The Divine Comedy, which was broken into three parts, Inferno, Purgatorio, and Paradiso. So, this is the sort of classic story that has been told many times before. It's just being told with Tommy Guns and Weisenheimers this time. Tom Hanks plays Michael Sullivan, a mob assassin who works for John Rooney, played by Paul Newman, an Irish mob boss. Rooney took in Sullivan as a young boy and regards him as a second son. His other, biological son, is Connor Rooney, played by Daniel Craig. The film begins with Michael and Connor going to lean on a disgruntled employee who had made some accusations at a wake for one of Rooney's former employees. Connor gets angry and impulsive and kills the guy. Unfortunately, Michael's son, Michael Jr., witnessed the whole thing as he had secretly followed his dad to find out what he does for a living. Sullivan swears his son to secrecy, but Connor believes the kid will squeal and goes to the house to kill him. He winds up killing the kid's brother instead, as well as his mother. Sullivan swears revenge on Connor, who is kept hidden away in a safe house. Sullivan attempts to appeal to Al Capone to work for him in exchange for Connor's whereabouts, but he is refused, as it would be bad for business. He also tries appealing directly to Rooney himself, but despite the inevitable violence and faced with proof of Connor's disloyalty, he will still not give up his son. Most of the movie is focused, however, on the journey of Sullivan and Son, at first going to a nearby town called Perdition, where his son can live safely with his aunt. However, a crazed hitman sent after them, McGuire, played by Jude Law, derails this. Instead of perdition, the father and son travel to Chicago, where they rob banks, specifically going after the money held for Al Capone, thinking he could trade the money back to Capone for Connor's whereabouts. Sullivan eventually gets what he wants by basically wiping out the entire Rooney crime family, and Capone, having no further interests there, gives up Connor's location to end the bloodshed. The film's plot is fairly simplistic, but it's classic. It's not really about mobsters or bank robbers or revenge, but it's about the dynamic between father and son. Previous to these events, Sullivan had been rather distant towards his son, rather seeming to prefer his gentler son, Peter. Michael Jr. reminds him a lot of himself, and he's afraid his son will go down the same path and become a hired gun. Someone who, as Rooney himself said, one thing is certain, we can never see heaven. It's an interesting dichotomy, as Sullivan wants to save his son from a life of violence, he has to kill a lot of people to achieve this. In the end, Michael's entire vision of his father is painted by the only time they really spent together, six weeks on the road to perdition, robbing banks and running away from other mobsters. The acting is superb, but with a cast that includes Tom Hanks, Jude Law, Paul Newman, and Daniel Craig, that's no surprise. It's also directed with the right amount of subtlety, and I love the way it was shot, generally in low light to emphasize the dark business taking place on screen. The film also does not glorify violence like most gangster movies do, but in fact it shows the reality of a life of murder, the broken family it creates, and how men like Sullivan must harden their hearts so much that he is unable to even properly grieve for his lost son and wife. Road to Perdition is a great film, And one thing you might notice is that I don't really comment much on the comic, only acknowledging its existence. That's because I haven't read it, nor have I read Lone Wolf and Cub. But I have read The Divine Comedy, and I can see the definite parallels between Dante's journey through hell and Sullivan's journey to perdition. As far as gangster movies go, you'll rarely find one with deeper themes, unless of course you watch the Godfather trilogy. 
I'll give Road to Perdition a 9 out of a possible 10. And that wraps up the DC reviews. Tomorrow we'll begin the Marvel reviews.